welcome once again to M Cubed. I am Brian, the merchant of the Motley Mix. Well, we made it to June, everybody. Welcome to level six of Jumanji. I don't know what June's got in store for us, but I do know that May was my best month ever in just over a year of doing this. It was amazing as far as sales go. I was busy all month. I sold a total of 50 items. Bang on, 50 items. That is 17 more than my previous best by far the best month I have had in the past year. I'm going to go through a few things that sold, not every single thing in the last week and a half because it was so busy, uh, but just a few things to show you what kind of things are selling. Again, myself and others in the YouTube field don't do this to brag. We do this to show you what's selling, and that way you can decide if you want to get into these kinds of items for resale or if you've got these kinds of things laying around the house that maybe you want to earn an extra few dollars on. So let's get started, shall we? I'm going to move over just a little bit as I usually do, and we'll get going here. I will start off with a silver. I did it again. I keep trying to mix up sterling silver and silver plated. It is silver plated tea set. It was a teapot with a creamer and a sugar and a couple of trays. This is not from my most recent haul of uh, silver plate that I got uh, an auction a couple weeks ago. This is an old, old set that I've had in there for a little while, and it sold for $25 with $13 towards the shipping. And as you can see from the picture, it is it was not uh, polished, so it is definitely not from my latest batch. So a couple of mugs that have been in my cupboard for about 10 months now. A couple of Mercedes-Benz logoed uh, coffee mugs. They, as I say, they've been there forever, but uh, they finally sold for $20 with free shipping. I probably made about $8 to $10 profit on that once everything was said and done with shipping and costs and all that kind of stuff. But hey, it moved, finally. A Mercedes-Benz moved, never mind. Chinese Fu Star God Statue. Try to say that three times fast. I can't say it once. Chinese Fu Star God Statue. There you go. Took a best offer from one of my faithful YouTube viewers and subscribers. Thank you very much again. And um, it's on its way just for $13 with $6 towards the shipping. And uh, nice to see that find a new home. She loves it. She's got it already. And uh, it's out of here. A nice uh, Demitas set. One of the sets that I received in a online auction when I got the big, big box of Demitas cups that I didn't even get to see in the picture. This one was uh, Haviland Limoges version. Really, really nice with the green and the gold. And uh, they sold for $25 plus $10 towards the shipping. I've definitely been doing a lot better job in the last 90 days or so with my shipping costs, uh, putting the right amount at least to cover 80% or more of the shipping. So I'm, I'm very happy with the way things are going when it comes to paying for shipping these days. Something you may have seen on the shelves behind me for a very long time, but not there anymore. I, they haven't been there for a while because I moved them, but uh, it was a great big, huge ceramic Malva and Oxymel apothecary jars. Uh, they were huge. I got them at a uh, box lot sale for $5, I think, uh, about yeah, seven, eight months ago now. Uh, they sold for $60 plus $13 towards the shipping. Uh, they were a little bigger because it was hard to fit them side by side, but I got them into a box that fit under the guidelines. It didn't it didn't go oversized, 12 by 12 by 12. I think it ended up being, I think I got it right on the button. I think I went 13 by 14 by 9 or something like that, which is exactly right on the button for the same diameter as 12 by 12 by 12. So I'm happy though, $60, great return on that set of uh, apothecary jars. Uh, sold another one of the hats. This time it was one of the uh, nice summer hats, of course, as we're heading into the nicer weather here, especially in the northern United States and into Canada. Uh, this was a nice uh, white one. Uh, it sold, I don't, I don't even remember what it sold for. I was just going to quickly mention it, but that's how much it sold for right there. Uh, a beautiful little wicker serving tray. I got this uh, in, a, in a table lot when I, when I bought a bunch of tables all at once. Remember that purchase? If you're a follower, you remember me doing that earlier in the year before they shut down. Uh, but this wicker serving tray was uh, really, really nice and very, very uh, popular. A lot of views, a lot of watchers ended up going for a full price of $25 plus $6 towards the shipping. So very happy with that just for a wicker serving tray. Very little surprised at how much I was actually going for. All right, here's one for you. 
in a recent, very recent episode, I talked about a lot of Broadway musical LPs that I picked up. I picked up nine LPs for $6, and I got it specifically for one of them, and it is this one. Les Miserables, the original London cast album. I was the only one listed on eBay when I put this up on eBay about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago now, maybe. It was the only one. The only other ones on eBay were sold or in another language. This was the only original London cast album. It ended up going, I took a best offer on this, for $75 US plus $6 towards the shipping. Again, I paid $6 for nine albums. So my return on that is really, really good. And the person that received it is very, very happy. These albums are in mint or near mint condition as far as the vinyls go. And he was very happy when he received it. And uh, I was very happy to pack it up nicely for him for that price. I made sure to use a little extra care in the packaging. Another one of the K-pop CDs sold. Um, I've probably sold hundred plus dollars worth of these K-pop albums that I picked up for five bucks in a box lot uh, way back last summertime sometime. Uh, but this one went for, I don't remember, it was a cheap one, probably $14, $15 uh, with a little bit towards the shipping. But again, it's the fourth one that I've sold from a $4, $5 lot and it's adding up to about $100 now total. All right, something else I mentioned recently from The Hoarder House. This is the first thing that sold from The Hoarder House. It was the Fromage de France ceramic uh, side plates, the salad plates, cheese plates, whatever you want to use them for. They're about the right size for that. I sold them for $63 on a best offer plus $13 towards the shipping. And again, don't forget, I paid a grand total of $120 Canadian for everything that I got out of The Hoarder House. So this $63 on one sale still leaves me with about 20 items to sell and I've already paid for half of the entire haul. So super, super happy with the return on that one. I knew they were gonna go for a good price because they're very popular and very, very hard to find. This one's interesting. It was a piece of Navajo sand art. Uh, a Yi is the character that was depicted on the front. I think it's pronounced Yi, Y-E-I is the way you spell it by a fairly well-known Navajo painter. This thing, I've had it in the store for quite a while, probably eight, nine months. It had over a thousand views and it was only $12.99. That's what it sold for, $13 plus $7 towards the shipping. I couldn't understand why nobody was clicking the buy it now button when over a thousand people looked at this Navajo sand art and nobody was buying, but finally somebody bought it and uh, they've got it now. And uh, I just, I couldn't believe it. That, that's probably one of my most viewed items besides maybe one of the K-pop albums. That's the most viewed item I've ever had. And it took eight months for it to sell for $13. I, I don't know. Some people just don't want to pull the trigger on making a sale, I guess. Making a buy. Who knows? I don't know. It's gone now. <laughs> uh, another thing I per picked up recently at a... Uh, what was this? This was a Facebook Marketplace pickup. Uh, I got an entire box of ceramics for $20. Well, I've already made my money back because I've sold the antique invalid feeder. If you remember, I pointed that out a few episodes ago. Sold that for $25 plus $6 towards the shipping. And um, yeah, again, it was popular. Got a lot of views right away and a few watchers. So I knew it was going to go pretty quick. Went for full asking price, $25. Not bad return. A few other things that I sold just to go through them quickly. They were a little bit of a smaller as far as monetary goes, but good to see these ones go because I've had some of these for a while. A uh, piece of Chinese silk on silk artwork. I sold one of them about six months ago, and then I've sold the other one now just this past week for $10. That's If you're a longtime follower of this show, you will remember the artwork that I got in the really, really ugly yellow uh, frames that I had to pull off because they were hand painted and they were so ugly. Well, this is one of the pieces of art that came out of one of those really, really ugly yellow frames. So it's it's finally finally sold. I finally sold both pieces of that one. I also sold a Blue Mountain Pottery Trinket Dish. It was in the shape of a conch shell. Conch shell. Say that five times fast. I got $11 for that one. And then there was a Bosa Ware, which is a Canadian ceramic company uh, bowl, a lotus bowl. 
and that sold for $14. And they all sold in the same day. So these small things add up as you sell the small things and you sell three in one day. And that was $35 worth of sales in one day. So that was it was good to see even the little things go um, because it's just more money flow and more room on the shelves. I really need room on my shelves now. <laughs> All right. Oh, I sold also from my recent pickup, my first pickup, no, second pickup from my ceramics and glass contact in Toronto. I picked up a whole bunch of Starbucks mugs, if you remember. Well, I finally sold one of them. I shouldn't say finally. They've only been up in the store for about two weeks now. Uh, it was the dark brown Pike's Place first store commemorative mug. And uh, it sold for $22 with free shipping. Mugs, I can get them just barely under a pound. <laughs> just barely under a pound. 15.25 ounces, if I remember correctly. So it was uh, pretty cheap to, say it, to ship. And uh, off it went to its new owner. And last but not least... Something else that I told you about, I think, in just the last episode. One of the 12-inch 1980s dance singles already sold. Within two days, it sold right away. It was the Debbie Deb one. I think a song's called, it was called When I Hear Music. And I found them on YouTube just so I could see if I knew them. I sort of knew the Debbie Deb ones. They, sound, they both sound exactly the same, but I sort of knew the songs when I heard them and saw them on YouTube. So uh, I recognized it. But that's all for $13, full asking price plus $6 towards the shipping. And the other ones that I have up there, the other dance 12-inch singles, they're all getting lots of attention. So it's uh, it's good to see things still moving from the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, I went back here. It was a great month of May. I, I sold, I mean, I sold a bunch of other stuff too, smaller things and things that I don't really want to talk about on YouTube. Let's put it that way. I, I, I'll, I'll give you a very brief hint. I came into some product, which is adult related, and it sells really well for a very good price. And I've sold quite a bit of it. And uh, I'm almost out of it now, but it sold, I made a lot of money on it. And I'm very, very happy with that. But I'm not going to get into it here. Uh, let's just say I briefly entered into the adult product world briefly. Anyhow, <laughs> so that's it. That's that's the kind of things that have sold for me in the last week and a half or so, up to two weeks. I think it's been two weeks since I did a what sold episode. But again, May was fantastic. June's already starting out great. Today, I think is, what is today? I don't know, the third or fourth, fourth, I think. And I've already sold four items. I uh, did a shipping run today. Actually, I did a shipping run up to Toronto today, even though my local shipping company is open, because I had a credit on the Toronto company in, in the Toronto company for a shipment that was canceled. So I used up that credit, shipped up some stuff today and made a pit stop at my ceramic and glass dealer and picked up another huge heavy box of stuff. That's going to be in the next episode. I've got another unboxing to show you. I'm going to unbox it myself, not live on the air because it is a lot of newspaper again. Um, I just don't like the sound of that newspaper crinkling when you're trying to unbox things live on air. So I'm going to unbox it all, but we'll go through it in the next episode. I do want to remind you, by the way, that if you like this video, you are invited to hit the like button down below because the more likes this video gets, the more likely YouTube is to recommend it to other people looking for this kind of content on YouTube. And then, of course, if you are interested in following along on all the adventures of this Canadian eBay reseller, I invite you to subscribe down below and then hit the bell to be notified every time a new episode is uploaded. I'm going to go because I have a big box of glass and ceramics. It's a mystery box, so this will be fun. I have no idea what's in it. Just paid for it, and I trust him because he's done me well in the past, so I'm going to hopefully get another good box of ceramics and glass. And then I'm going to start going through that and finish. Uh, oh, I still have to list the last of the silver plate, the polished silver plate. Just do up the last couple of things today and tomorrow, and they'll be on the website as well. Already the champagne bucket, getting lots and lots of attention. So maybe next time I do a What Sold episode, it will be one of the featured items. Well, everybody, we made it to June. Let's see what June has in store for us. I don't want to, I don't want to know. Hopefully only good things when it comes to reselling and thrifting. 
and all that kind of stuff, especially if your local thrift stores are starting to reopen or have reopened. Mine have. I've made a few trips just to see what's going on. Not a lot of great stuff in there right now. I don't think people are really in the dropping off stuff mode, although I did. I got to tell you this quickly before I sign off. Had a little glance inside the door to the back room at one of my Goodwills, the one that's just about four blocks from my house, packed to the rafters with bags and bags of clothing. So I don't touch clothing much, hardly at all. 99% of the time I don't touch clothing, so not interesting to me, but I thought it was interesting when I looked in the back. I mean, it was piled 20 feet high and 20 feet deep, bags and bags of clothing at my local Goodwill. So they got some work to do to get through all that stuff. So anyhow, I've got work to do as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will hopefully see you again next time on another episode of M Cubed. Bye for now, everybody. Cheers. Oh,